All right, what's going on guys? So, me and Cal did a little switch, so I'm here now. It's, uh, this might be my only trip of the season because if I'm going to school this year, so I probably can't get down more than these couple of days, so we gotta really make it count. Look at that boat, Dan. What is it, Dad? Oh my God, Swig! Wow! I've never seen that, dude. What the that. heck? Cal's did that too. One of the ones Cal caught. These are like must be Southern blues. And uh, I got her on video. Like two, dude. That was crazy. I like that jump. That was not Swig, right? Signs of life. Signs of life. So we, uh, that's the first fish of the day, sort of, pretty cool. Hey dad! I think this is a... Uh... No way. No freaking way. Freaking bone. Dad, we might want to keep this guy. He's like, his like gills are ripped out. Bone, yeah. Oh, shit! Yeah. That's unreal, Ronan. Frickin' daddy! The birds came in, we're chasing them. Ronan got a sick, Nice bonito. Oh, yeah. Ronan's luck is still running. Whoa, still nice good. job, man. Yeah. Running with a gorgeous bonito. Nice catch. Running with a sick one. Here, make sure. Like that, you take, get him. I'll Here. give you a picture. Hold see who's his team. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have keep this, kept this guy, but he was like mangled. So. All right, guys, so by some miracle, I actually, uh, I caught a Benito. Let's go. Uh, it's not the Derby, so we're not gonna weigh him in. If you're wondering why I kept him, you know, I usually we wouldn't keep a Benito, or we wouldn't keep any fish not in the Derby, but um, he was pretty mangled. He, uh, the thing hit so hard, it had like ripped out its gill, and it was just kind of sad, so we got to, uh, we're gonna eat him, he's gonna be good. I think we'll actually give him the swing. Maybe he'll uh, cook him up or something. But um, pretty amazing. Only fish today. We were, uh, there was like birds everywhere. You could tell there was fish in here and somehow he, uh, he saw my lure and went after it, which is pretty sick. So this video, I wasn't uh, expecting. I was kinda, things were looking pretty bleak, but um, you know, days turned around here. We drove like an hour. Oh, do you see that way out there? 100% fish. That was like an Albi day. Like, right there, yeah. Oh, do you see that over there? 
Look, right there. They're busting right there. You see that? Ah. Oh, you see that? Right where that seagull is. Little update here. All right, guys, little update here. There's literally the biggest school of fish we've ever seen. I don't know what my dad's doing. There's a crazy school out there. Birds are going crazy and they're getting closer, guys. This is, uh, uh oh, something bad happened. This is, this is nuts, though. He's coming running. What happened? You broke the line? Oh my god! You broke the line? <laughs> yeah, look. No way. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm about to get one. Oh, Dad, over there. Over there. To the right. If those things... You see that? This is crazy. They're out of range. Yeah! Oh, I lost them. Dad, they're breaking out there. Oh wow, they're in dead. Yeah, they're in range now. Hey guys, so I didn't intend for this to be a catch and cook, but uh we're gonna cook this bone up today, eat it. Atlantic Bonito. It uh one of the hardest fishes to catch. It's gonna be I think it'll taste really good. They're very rare fish. Yeah, so we'll ice them up um should be really good. That was a crazy day today. Like, it was looking pretty grim, I gotta say, for a while. Like, swing left. I think we had a solid three hours of nothing dead. Like, no sightings. And then all of a sudden, it was like, boom. You know, they showed up. I caught it out of nowhere, and then we started seeing them everywhere. How is it? It's good. Is it? Really good. Can I have yeah. a piece of it? Yeah, I would. How good is it actually? Really good, yeah. What does it taste like? Just good. So you haven't had sushi though? I don't think I've had real sushi. Okay. Yeah, I would try to get everything that you can. This guy's so good. Yeah, look. Uh, I'm kind of excited to eat this thing. Is it gonna uh, be good for tomorrow, then? It's the freshest. It'll still be good. It'll be incredible. Yeah, it'll keep it on that ice. It'll be like, oh yeah. This looks so good. This is good. I gotta say, it's crazy how like sharp that knife is. Yeah, that's why I got this nice knife for this beautiful fish running. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, this would be like... What kind of speed? Is Benito like a tuna almost? It's some kind of a... It's in the tuna family, but it's more related to mackerel. Yeah, but it's so much better. Mackerel's so bad. Right. Oh, oh yeah, daddy. Wow. Hold that thing up. Okay. Now we're looking good. So now uh, we just gotta eat it. So we'll do that in uh, one more day. So here we go. Hey guys, we're back. We're here to finish this catch and cook. So more importantly, though, it's it's a big announcement. We're missing an important person, the Bean Town Angler. 
Oh, yeah. So we drop Ronan off at his school uh, Wednesday, it's Saturday. No, Thursday, it's Saturday. So we're, you know, we're on to the next chapter here. So we're going to do this catch and cook. We caught this bonito that you guys saw Wednesday morning. It's Saturday. So we kept it on ice since then. It's, I don't know, it smells so good, and I think it's going to be unbelievable. Um, these are, we usually don't keep these, but you saw the fish was gill hooked. So we knew it would die, so we kept it. And then um, we have a very special cook, an amazing fisherwoman, the Mass State Derby <laughs> Bonita Champion, and the three-time Women's Bonita Champ in the Martha's Vineyard Striped Bass Fishing Derby. Oh, yeah. Well. So she's a great fisherwoman, but she's legit a, the best cook ever, maybe besides Layden. I agree. So usually on these... Uh, at Swing's bachelor party, we ate them raw right, right after, and it was incredible. We're going to cook this one just a little. And since I know nothing about cooking, we're going to have the cook take over and tell us what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> First, I'm going to wash my hands. Ooh. Dad, this guy was a monster, right? It was small. It was a nice fish. It was smaller. It was like a... I'd say it wasn't even a keeper in the derby, but it was so a beautiful funny. fish. Was it another yeah, one? I wanted you to, like... Film me washing my hands, but that's okay. Oh, um, all right, so you got this part. You see how it looks it. going. Nice, it looks. Yeah, you can see the stripes. It's yeah. the so shine. we washed the fillets already okay. with cold water. Oh, that looks good. It does look good. We're gonna put our beloved PEI butter in the Ooh. iron skillet. Ooh. Cast iron is some of the best cooking pans. Stays nice and hot. You really want this pan really, really hot. The other one's thinner. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's gonna shrink up the skin. Look at that little thing. Little steak or right. Lemon juice on it. Oh, yeah. I think that'll add some nice. Oh, wow. Uh, this one looks better, though. My God. Go to the thick end. Oh, that looks good. Will I get burned? No. It's like perfect right now. Woo! Yeah, it's not hot, though. It just tastes like incredible. Like the best fish you've ever had. I like the way you're just digging in mid. Wow. And that's with no soy sauce, Cal. Okay. We might have to keep a couple more balls. There's the chopsticks for you, Cal, right there. Oh! Thank you. Should I eat the skin? I always like this. This is yeah. mine. But this is mine. Yes. Oh my god, man. Wait, did you eat the skin, Dad? Yeah. Why, I'm yeah. telling you. They do include the skin in the sashimi. They this, give you. this is like so, so good. I cut that in half, Cal. Eat it in two portions because it's too good to eat like that. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Does it melt in your mouth? It's ridiculous, Bob. No, I think it's, it's, just, it's just such good It's fish. seriously like better than a blue thumb. Well, oh, that looked really, that piece was, it looked really it's such, It's such good fish. Alright guys, I'd say this is an epic success. Thanks for watching this Beantown Angler mini special. Uh, be sure to keep watching. We'll see you guys next week.